Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead Telltale's version. And in this you have such pretty mm. hair. It gets lots of tangles. Um, let's uh talk to these guys. Here we are. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's talk to Katya. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting let's, through the uh, city? Let's talk to everyone. Can you just drove? We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Mm. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? I guess anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Oh, geez. So, uh, what did you do? What do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. Not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Hopefully not. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. I don't know. Oh, well. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's been Three there. days? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You learned that coming time. was in first grade. It's important information, people. It's important information. Uh. Um, do you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Lee, the young woman can take care of herself. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, you know, I'm just walking out for her. You know, like a good parent. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Well, that's good news, I guess, Kenny. Uh, okay, let's talk to you. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. Uh -huh. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. You get a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's dolphin. biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Dolphin? Need any help? No, I think I got it. All right, then. Do you need Fuck any help? you, then. Okay. What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I picked the right one. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. I have no idea what I'm doing. How's your son doing? Right. Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. Huh. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and Christ, just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. That's good. See you. And that's all we gotta do to talk to Kenny. So let's get uh, talking about that fence. Oh my lord! I want to run. I want to. Okay. Okay, oh, uh, might as well talk to Duck here, if we can. No, we can. Well, we waved at him first. You know how to drive it? Sure uh, don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Ha, <laughs> that's funny, because we were talking doing, about Doug? the... Good! I'm going to drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Oh, just the same thing. I'm not gonna try to talk to him again because he's probably just gonna say the exact same thing. So we can 
observe. Sean's still working on that fence. I think that was just a thought. Hey, buddy. <coughs> Need a hand? Need a hand. That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Mm-hmm. So, yep. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. <sighs> no, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Oh, jeez. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Yikes. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. To shoot one. Uh, I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants that. to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Uh, I'm not quite sure where my ex wife is. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Ah, oh, <laughs> uh, that one was very. That's probably all I need cut for clutched. now. Thanks. All right. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Thanks. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. In the barn, huh? Well, we might as well go to the barn, since we already talked to everyone else. Hey, can we talk to Sean again? Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? I'm good. Maybe go check on my dad in the barn. Okay. Well, I guess that happened. Come on. Let's get up. Oh, my lord. That took us close to the barn. Let's uh, talk to Herschel. Uh, he doesn't look that happy, actually. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Um. I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. Uh, Walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. We're gonna be uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me twenty years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Mm -hmm. Family's important. Of course it is. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents, wife, girlfriend. My parents are in Macon with my brother. My brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was looking for help in her house. Um. Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. We're being honest with Herschel. We can't lie to Herschel. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. That doesn't sound good. Go! I'll get my gun. That didn't sound like Hersh. Oh, jeez. I just tried to get them. Shit's going down. Doc. Oh, jeez. Who do I save? Who do I save? I'm going to save Sean. I think I picked the wrong thing. Actually, to be honest, no matter what you pick, Sean, it was... Kenny! 
man, hey. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, Jesus. Yeah, no matter what you do, this was gonna happen to Sean, unfortunately. Don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It almost it almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. Well, he saved me. I was just returning the favor. Fucking shit. Moment of silence. Kenny, why didn't you help? Oh well. Get out. Get the fuck out oh, geez, Herschel. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can kill us your daughter and you need his help. But she's Please. not my daughter. Just go. Get out and never come back. <sighs> Great. Well. Hey, rock in a hard place, trophy. Yeah. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Oh boy. Why did that sound like it was bad? Like he said that unrelenting like you've got that ride to make it if you want, you piece of shit. We stood up for you, Kenny, but then again, you're a piece of shit. <sighs> Whatever. We're gonna... Well, I... Fuck. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Mm. Alright. I guess we're back in Macon. Hmm. You're stupid. You're stupid. Run out of gas. You're stupid. Fuck. You're stupid. You don't do that. You walk up to them, see if they're okay. Oh my lord. Oh hey, you're a badass. Oh my lord. It's Glenn. He's in the TV show and he's awesome. Yay! But oh, mm, Duck, good. Did he get bitten? We can't take risks like this, and we can't just let people die either. Oh, what's going when on? I say that door stays shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let him right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go. Jeez, oh, that sounded terrible. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Harley and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control I think of the I picked people. Her on one. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch.
Ouch! One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let shit with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut shit. up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Penny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck Yeah, out. listen to her. Nobody's doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. Oh, yeah. She's not really? some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Oh, Fuck wow. you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for oh, my dog. Geez. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing it's the kid. He's hostile. covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle yeah. it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man here. Oh, jeez. Not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Uh No, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me though, because it's me before anyone else in here. <coughs> oh shit, that does not sound good. <laughs> Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, we made it. Oh jeez. Oh, tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. I'm tapping, I'm tapping. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Oh, oh. Nice you shot. Okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Yay, Clem will remember that we protected her. Those guys have been quiet. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Um. We'll do it somehow. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. We will. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Yeah. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown naked. Fast. Agreed. 
and I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, you know your way around town? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. Mm, if you're cool. gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Lily and Keep Larry. a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Doug. And I'm Carly. Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Oh, she looks pissed. Well, let's look around here for a bit. Oh. Oh. All the way over here. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Um, I know there's something over here. I thought there was something over here. Isn't there anything over here? Well, let's might as well talk to Carly. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh jeez. Uh, uh, you handled yourself well. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. Nah. My news editor was eaten about five feet away oh, from geez. me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we all know that. Um, That guy saved you? That guy you? saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. What? How'd you end up here? How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Yeah. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Oh, what are you working on? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Yeah, let's have a look at this thing. Um, okay, uh... Nothing. Let's try that. Nothing. I might as well flip it around. And check the battery, and nothing. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean yeah. No. no. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. <sighs> Let's check this out. That's PG. Heard or seen Let's anything? Let's talk to Doug. Nothing, luckily. Wanna... Step outside, have a look around. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the <laughs> gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Mm. Oh, huh. oh, let's wait a while for that. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want. Let's to. wait around for that. Uh, let's talk to Kenny. Greeting cards, huh? No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> ah, funny Lee. Oh, battery. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. Ducky. I know, hon. Anything else over here? Nope. Just, uh, we got photographs. Can't really see them, though. Uh, walking around, always falling. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Just paper. We'll do our damnedest. Clippings. Another photograph. I don't remember them very well. Uh, let's talk to these guys, see how they're doing. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Yeah, no problem. Uh, how's Duck doing? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. Oh, yeah, no kidding. How's she doing? 
I'll talk to her. Uh, she's good, I think. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Mm -hmm. Not just any little girl can do that. Uh, what's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's yeah. Right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Uh, let's tell them that they own this place. They uh, own this place. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah. They did. Yeah. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee. You got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment. When things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. Mm. I guess. Try to let it go. I guess that was our only option. All right, well, uh, let's look around the store for a bit. Uh, let's talk to Clementine. We gotta talk to Clementine as soon as it lets us move. Come on. Oh, hey, there's something right there. What's right there? Oh, nothing. Oh, that's the office. Oh, I guess we might as well talk to these guys. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. Lily. My dad's Lily. Yeah, we heard you guys introduce yourself. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Well, you know what? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Yeah, we all are. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. <laughs> it's just that... Yeah? Um, we've got kids here, family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying, some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. I'm not, ya bitch. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't mm -mm. her. Well, she's lucky to have you. Thank you. Uh. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people, and turning them into more more of them I mean Jesus we need to stick together and get through this you're from here I work at Warner Robins the Air Force Base yeah I know it pilot nah just mechanical admin stuff mm -hmm. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day sometimes a plane if I'm lucky you I work up at UGA Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Oh, jeez. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Oh, boy. I'm gonna get back to him. 
so that's yeah, good. Yeah, you... You do that. Shit! Yep, energy bar. Nice. I know there's more of these somewhere. Now, uh, right, right, right there. I, I know there's more of them. I know. I think there's enough to feed almost everyone, but one person here. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's looking on the bright side, Lee. Oh, it's all right. I think we need. We need to find one more battery. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Come on! This way. Um, I need to find one more battery because it takes two and I only have one. Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those things out there? There we are. I think that's all the energy bars. Well, let's talk to Clem. Oh, ah, there's the battery. All right, so let's let's give Clementine an energy Not bar. Much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. We took care of her. Yeah, yeah. Now let's talk to her. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Any Glenn? Word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I get Can you I, anything? Uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Glenn. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, uh... Um, yeah, let's get to know her. Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Despite them. Yep. We'll sit tight. Well, that okay. worked out well. Of getting to know each other. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, might as well... Mm, do we want to fix the radio now? Yeah, might as well fix the radio. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Yeah, we found them both. Should be able to get it to work now. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm, I might as well give an energy bar to Duck since he's a kid, you know. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Uh, oh, there's something up here. Ice cream menu. It's all melted now. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, we got one more energy bar. Who do we give it to? Carly, Lily, or Doug? Might as well give it to Lily. Try to make amends. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Seriously, don't. You're rich. Alright, um... You know what? We'll do the radio, and then I think we're done for today. So, let's get that radio in. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Alright. Let's look in the back. Batteries. Front. There we are. You fixed it. Batteries around the wrong way. Okay. The station is okay. In the event of a full uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, oh jeez. God bless you all. Well, that's I don't know. 
gate. Um, no. Wait, is there something up there? No, it's just. Oh, well, might as well go into the office. The only place we live. Alive inside. Um, okay. You slut. We're gonna try to finish some things up in here. Before. I wanna see that saving menu first before I do anything. Like, I wanna see the saving down there before I decide. I can't, stop. I can't think about them in here. Can we talk to Clem? Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Maybe not the sick yeah. guy. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not going to go looking for them. <laughs> I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm going to try. Yeah. Good. <laughs> We're superheroes. Hey. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. All right. Okay. Let's look around a bit. All right. Betting. Let's examine. My parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. A protector, at least. Oh, daddy. Ah, pick up the photo. Hey, it's. Pops and apparently brother and me. Oh no. Oh no no no. Find anything? Jeez, that's something. A photo of the family they own the place. It's a photo of the family who own this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Mm. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. Oh, jeez. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Ah, uh, no. no. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Aww. Don't worry about it. She remembers that we trusted her. All right. Oh, uh, let's look in the alley if we can. This door leads to the back alley. Okay. Uh, might as well talk to Clem since she just watched that. Okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Might as well move the pallet. To, come on. There we go. It's a cane. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's <laughs> protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Dads are smart. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to you dads out there. Oh, we have a saving thing. Um. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Uh, I want to check the thing first. Sure. Look at that cute face. Here we go. Put your fingers in the drawers. Uh. How are you doing? How were you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. Not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. 
Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. No. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Uh, I won't blame them. I guess I won't blame them. I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. Aww. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Here we go. Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. Ow! Oh, oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Okay. Okay, let's fix her up. I'll find you a bandage. Okay, um... Let's see if there's something in this drawer. Uh, just... It's the remote to my dad's TV. First aid kit, that's important. Gotta find a band-aid. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Lee? Well, well what maybe not the sick the guy. What the heck is going yeah. on? We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that I thing asked in the back question. He tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. What's going on? Can you do that more? What's going on? I'm not going to go looking for him. I mean... Get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Um, I don't think they will. Um, they'll find us. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then. Okay. All right. Um, I might as well fix up that finger. Let's have a look at that finger. <coughs> Ow. It hurt. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. I have a bandaid. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Super Lee to the rescue. Um. Okay. All right. Well, that does it for in this part of Let's Play the Wa- well, I might as well see if this remote works. That's what I think. Yeah. Alright, well, that does it for this part of Let's Play the Walking Dead. Part 2. Oh, we're just going to look in here again. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Eh, it's first- you always need it. Anyway, that does it for this part of Let's Play the Walking Dead. I'll see you guys in the next part. Uh, until then, don't get bitten by walkers. Goodbye.